Welcome back to the channel folks. As I've stated in the past, I work from a domestic garage. Um, got a bit of a break in the weather, so I'm going to try and crack on with as many jobs as I can. Try and get a bit of footage out there for you. So without further ado, let's crack on. I'm going to fit a nice little clock to my dash. That'll take all of 30 seconds. Right, we're now inside JF Bitzer. The old bodge. Still hanging in there, still holds the phone, so I'm thinking if I can get it in, focus phone, focus, she run up focus Jim, she run up focus. Right, now that we've focused, I was thinking there, so I'm going to, why's that off, what been on there, Bob's your uncle. There you go, my little retro clock, how long that lasts. <laughs> I think the warranty is null and void after me fitting it. I take no responsibility for uh, that stain on the vehicle. Anyway, that's another job down. The next job I wanted to do was I wanted to fit or well, find somewhere to fit this. I wasn't too sure whereabouts to fit it on the dash. So I was thinking of sort of like this area around here or maybe underneath. And then, to my surprise, just down here, where the holder is, there was, I've now took it apart like, a cigarette lighter. I've taken it apart, oh, giving in there a little bit of a clean because it was a little bit rusty looking. And I'm going to give it a bash. From what I can gather, this fuse here, um, second one up from the bottom, is uh, live when the ignition's on, which is what I'm after. Because I don't want the cigarette lighter, if we can get it working, to be live all the time. However, this bodgery, I'm not taking ownership to that. So I'm going to unravel this, uh, see what delights that's going to hide. Oh come back to you after I've taken the tape off because I don't suppose watching somebody take tape off a, a block is of much interest so I'll be back with you in a minute we're back in it looked worse than what it actually was I still think if I can get that to get out of focus I can focus on there like I say those uh, I'm not over enamoured with the fuses on it one these glass fuses are harder to get. It's starting to get a bit green and crusty on the ends. And it's only going to start resulting in failures. So I'm going to tap into this. Uh, this end. So that will be me feed from the fuse through. Tap into there. But I have got another inline fuse that I'm going to be putting in. Just for bibs and, bib and braces really. I'll try and feed that into the cabin from out here I'm going in I'm going in deep well after uh, a considerable amount of arsing around a lot of expletives uh, transpires that this is junk that's probably why it didn't wire up so I'll have that one in the bin flat cap dropped a bollock oh yes he did he was blaming the cigarette lighter, but it wasn't. Let me show you. Cigarette lighter, or part of the body. This bit here has a live wire to it. Washer. That is a ceramic. I don't know if it's going to pick up. Oh, kiss your swine! Well, you're going to have to take my word for it because my phone's deciding not to focus. This is a ceramic plastic type washer body the body's earthed hence the ceramic washer so that's negative that's positive and dipstick went and put it in and these had managed to shift round and were actually touching the inside of the inside of the body in there once short circuit and blow the fuse 
So I'll have another go and um, see what bodgery we can do this time. Hopefully it's not going to blow another fuse. If it does, well, hey, hey. hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be no expletives. I'll get back to you in a minute, let you know how we'll get on. Right. I've managed to get the cigarette lighter back in. I was attempting to show you with the test meter um, that I've double checked my schoolboy errors. However, I'm going to see if I can film actually inside and see if it's still touching or not. So we'll just try and spin this round. Now that I'm back in here, I'm still a little bit concerned about down there. So I'm going to get my torch and have a look. There we go. That is very bloody close. See this side, you've got plenty of gap. But there, that is close to the outer body. Focus! Oh, bloody dog next door. Camera. All good fun here. So yeah, I'm going to attempt putting another fuse in and we'll see how we go. Let's crack on. Between uh, cold weather, bloody dogs barking, we're going to have another bash. Yep, that's ignition on. Ignition off. Let's see if the fuse is still intact. Does it show up? No, it doesn't. But I can assure you, it's still intact. If I put that... In, in there, in there. Hopefully, that's not going to blow nothing. And we have light. Oh, small things, little minds. What can I say? Absolutely fantastic. That's another job off the list. So, folks, we've now got uh, one outlet of power into the car. Still not happy about these electrics under the uh, the bonnet. Oh gee, but well, hey ho, Bits has managed to last this long, dog next door is deciding he's going to have a little bit more, or oh, her, she, it. So any who's, hmm, might be low, catch you later.